Welcome to the Chet TV Newsroom. I'm Trevor McManus and here are your top stories. Bernier has been busy, but what are his top priorities? Back to school could be bad for your health. And a lack of officials could mean less hockey played in the peace region. It's been a short tenure thus far in the legislature for Mike Bernier. The newest MLA in the Peace Region has hit the ground running. Bernier speaks on his busy last couple of months. Probably the best parts of it is because we had a summer session right away, just jump in with both feet. So shortly after the election, you know, we're spending all this time down here in Victoria. Uh, had to pass the budget, had to work on some legislation, but it was a great way to to get the experience right away. We knew right away that there would be a session because we had to finish off passing the budget. That was foremost uh, had to be done. So we knew we were going to be down here. One issue, I guess I could say, is because we had to come to Victoria and spend six, seven weeks here right away, it uh, kind of put us behind the eight ball a little bit, trying to uh, do the things back home, set up an office and uh, get everything ready there. But you need, obviously, to, to get into the group. Uh, I think it would have been a lot more problematic if we waited until, let's say, a spring session in February before we were actually in Victoria uh, getting the experience. And uh, it was really, uh, really exciting to be down here. I mean, the, there are a lot of amazing people that were elected. We have a, a great team down here. Uh, being able to sit down in the room, basically, seven, eight, 10 hours a day uh, uh, really forces us to get to know one another, get to know each other's issues, and, and also gave me the ability to sit down with ministers and different people and explain some of the, the concerns and issues that I had from my writing. His biggest targets thus far has been trying to push through the fair share of funding and the potential of bringing dialysis to Dawson Creek. Health care is largely on Bernier's radar, along with a few other issues he's already brought forth to Victoria. He's hoping to have meetings at the end of the month with Northern Health, and he's already met with the Minister of Health and given him his wish list for next year. Dawson Creek RCMP confirmed that two businesses were recently broken into. Sometime Monday evening, numerous items were stolen from two businesses located in the 103 block of 10th Street. The suspects broke in through the front doors and stole remote-controlled planes, household goods, as well as jewelry. Police are calling the investigation ongoing and are asking for the public's health. If anyone has information, they're asked to contact the police or Crime Stoppers. Back to school is a stressful time, not just for students, but a new study is suggesting that moms take it the most difficult. Between hectic schedules, financial worries, and other issues, women are hit the hardest at the beginning of the fall. Dr. Amy Shunny, a naturopathic physician as well as a women's health expert, suggests that you should stay away from antidepressant medication and look to your diet to help fix your mental health. Diet is really the, the foundation of good health. And um, I, I feel like what we put in our mouths is it, really, it's the way in which we have the most control over our health. And uh, most of us uh, don't even necessarily really think about it. But we want to include foods like vegetables and fruits, uh, legumes like beans and nuts and seeds, uh, and fish, which, is a, which has a omega-3 essential fats, which are very potent natural anti-inflammatory. Um, anti-inflammatory spices like garlic, uh, onions, ginger, turmeric, um, you know, all of these things are, are an important part of an anti-inflammatory diet. Good fat is really so essential. So many of the inflammatory chemicals uh, that we make in our body, both, both pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory, um, come from the fats that we eat. So, the, you know, the, the different types of fats that we eat are going to make the difference between whether or not we're making either pro- or anti-inflammatory chemicals. And so, you know, those omega-3 essential fats from fish oil, um, omega-9 fats from olives and olive oil from nuts and seeds from avocados, and all of these things are going to give us a more broad anti-inflammatory fat profile in the body. So that, that's a very important part of an anti-inflammatory diet. Some other tips Dr. Shenny suggests for women and moms everywhere include a quick check for omega-3 deficiencies, increased protein, decreased carbohydrates, as well as adding magnesium and calcium supplements to your diets. In sports, a lack of referees in the Peace Region could affect local sports. 
Without more officials, the Dawson Creek Minor Hockey Association will have issues hosting tournaments as well as league games. It's believed that younger officials are not following through their training and don't continue to recertify as they get older. The DCMHA will be hosting ref clinics this weekend for Level 1, which is age 12 to 15, and Level 2, which is 16 and older. If you're interested in becoming a ref and don't have any experience, you're asked to register on bchockey.net. And now to Fort St. John. Stage North will be opening up a new play. Executive Director of Stage North, Sue Popescu, talks about the upcoming production. Stage North Theatre Society is opening a new season this year. We're very excited to open our shows with Shakespeare uh, and Shakespeare set in the, in the 1950s. So you know that it's got to be a comedy, and certainly uh, it is called The Taming of the Shrew. And we all know the story, but I'm not quite sure if everyone has seen it set in the 1950s. It is a fun show. We have a very young, active a cast, a very eager cast of about 23 people. And there's another crew, uh, we call them the Shrew Crew, who's working on getting the show on the stage. The show will open at the North Peace Cultural Center on November 8th, and it'll run for five nights. Uh, we're hoping um, and wish that uh, everyone would buy tickets early in advance so that they don't miss out, and uh, we think it's going to be uh, just a great show. We have a Shakespeare theme this uh, fall. In fact, we have uh, the greatest Christmas story ever told as a Christmas show as well. So we're opening with Shakespeare in the 50s with The Taming of the Shrew and continuing with the greatest Christmas stories ever told and they are all the Shakespeare stories or related to Shakespeare in some way, and uh, that will be actually in December. The Taming of the Shrew runs from November 8th to the 16th, and purchase at tickets.npcc.bc.ca. Stay tuned. Aaron has your five-day weather forecast coming up next. Inside the Chet TV newsroom, I'm Trent McManus.